Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, scopers from around the world. Welcome to my scope. Here is my saying for you today. Hello, hello, welcome. A joyful life is an individual creation that cannot be copied from a recipe. And this is from a book written by Mahal Chiksent Mahali, and his book is called Flow. If ever you wanted to read a book that could give you an idea around why you're getting the results you are in life, then I recommend you find yourself a copy of Flow. It's out of print now, but you'll be able to find it somewhere. So, <laughs> welcome. And my name is Victoria Rose, and I'm so happy to be here doing an other scope with you. And I'd like to share with you my book. <laughs> so here I am. This is my book, How to Make the Rest of Your Life the Best of Your Life, Tough Love for Smart Single Women Over 60. And this book is an Amazon bestseller in uh, number one in self-esteem and number two in personal transformation. You might have a bit of fun in uh, knowing that uh, the number one in personal transformation had sold over 2 million copies and it was a book about decluttering. <laughs> so welcome to my scope today. I love doing these scopes and it is really good to share all my years of wisdom with you, all of you that are here right now <laughs> listening to my scope. So today we're going to look at survival strategy and it's important to know what is yours. Talking about survival strategy, I'm not talking to people that are in some warm zone, war zone who are suffering at the moment in some earthquake or floods or any natural disasters. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to my scope. I'm wanting to talk about survival strategy. Oh, I've got my hearts today. Here's the hearts back to you. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, who is that? Hello, hello, Sebi. Welcome to my scope. What is so important about understanding your survival strategy is that when you're aware of it, it can make a big difference. Bonjour, bonjour, good morning. How are you all? Yes, it's morning here in Melbourne and here I am in Australia, uh, in Melbourne, as I've just said, it's about, oh, it's about oh, quarter to eight in the morning. And this is an important scope. Oh, hello, hello, 6 a.m. in Perth. Yes, thank you for uh, uh, listening in from Perth. I'm originally a Perth girl and I've been living here in Melbourne for 15 years. I'm going to leave this on. From Paris, hello, Judy, Judy, I'm Jutty. I'm probably not saying your name right, but there we go. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Dijon, Dijon. Now, guys, I really want to share with you what's so important about knowing your survival strategy. Psychologists tell us that our survival strategy is in place by the time we're three years old. Now, I want to ask you this. Have you ever looked at someone else who's getting upset, who's responding to what just happened and said to yourself, oh, that's childish? Or have you ever been embarrassed when you've been thinking about how, hello, hello, hi Dexter, welcome back. Or being embarrassed about how you just responded to what just happened and you in the privacy of your own self admitted that what you just did was very, very childish. Well, that's because it is. <laughs> As I've just said, psychologists tell us that when we are, by the time we're three years old, our survival strategy, you might know of it as our defensive mode, is in place. Now, I want you to think about that. It's in place. And unless we look at it and examine it as we grow, then that survival strategy that we developed as a three-year-old stays in place. So as an adult, we're acting like big kids, 
jutting our lip out when we don't get our way in the world. So how do we know that? Well, let me share with you a bit of background here. So firstly, you may be thinking, oh no, I can't be behaving like I, I was when I was three years old. Here's the rationale behind it. Hello, Mr. Jelly. Hi, Sambroba. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Look, I've got my own hearts to give back to you today. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know how to give hearts, simply all you do, yes, a nice wink, all you do is tap on the screen five times and I've known, uh, I've learned a new saying from watching other scopes, oh, thank you for the, all the hearts, is uh, don't be mean, tap the screen. <laughs> which I think is rather cute. Hello, welcome back again. Oh gosh, look at all these hearts. I'm going to have to give you guys hearts. So I can give you the satin hearts and I can give you the sparkly hearts. Oh, I wish I could speak French. Bonjour is about it. Uh, so uh, you're not going to have much luck there, I am afraid. Do you get anything on oh, Mr. Jelly Jason? Do you know what you get for giving hearts? For a start, there's the joy of the person doing the scoping. Oh, look, hearts. <laughs> and, and you get to bask in the joy of the person um, because they've got hearts. So thank you very much. And, and I knew they were yours because they're purple and your colour is purple. I don't know who the green ones are or the yellow ones are, but I'll find out real soon. Yay! So, got hello from Russia. Hello, hello, Greg. Welcome. And this is Australia calling and talking and, and sharing your green is Max, is it? Hello from France. Another French person. Uh, and from USA. Hello, some Roba. Welcome. This is Australia talking. <laughs> Early in the morning. Hello, Anon. Welcome, welcome. Hi from, oh good, from Blacktown, Sydney. Oh good, you know, I've been there as well. I'm a leadership trainer and I've done lots of training all around Australia and New Zealand and I've done a few trainings in, in Blacktown and one in particular for the council there. Hello everyone, I want to now, hello Benjamin, hello, am I a kangaroo? Well, I'm an Aussie, I don't know, do you want to call that a kangaroo? <laughs> so talking about our survival strategy guys now this is really important because the younger you are the and the understanding you have around this can really help you live a better life you're 14 oh wonderful you're a manager in a coffee shop and need some advice to manage 20 people in a good way well Benjamin wow <laughs> in a coffee shop good on you uh, and I'm sure you have brilliant coffee and you do need to manage those people in a good way it's interesting how um, oh thank you thank you yes thank you very much Gerati and oh no a charming experience invited followers thank you so much well, here's the thing that you need to know about yourself, being a coffee shop owner, anyone who is, oh, and thank you, oh, thank you, beautiful. I know, Danny, how rude. <laughs> okay, so thank you, guys. Come, thank you so much. Now, the survival strategies, yes, be good to your people and most require minimal supervision. So if you trust them, um, and and look, will there be those people that will abuse that? Absolutely. Hi guys, hello, thank you so much. <laughs> Here is my heart's back to you. These guys know how to touch the screen. They're absolutely not mean. Thank you, Stacey. This is a, a good old Aussie accent. Now, Mr. Jelly Jason, what do I mean by survival strategies? Thank you. Let me get... Uh, back on track so here's here's what we're talking about is that when you uh, something happens that you don't like how do you respond yeah do you get angry do you fight back do you freeze and don't do anything do you withdraw you know what is it that you do when something happens in life that you don't like what actually happened yeah so 
uh, and you wished it could have happened another way, but it didn't happen another way. So yes, now you can switch to positive mode, but before you do that, you need to know self. So here's your task. Find out what is your survival strategy when something happens that you don't like. Thank you for all those hearts. How do you step? Uh, where do you, what do you do? Do you step into, hello from Sweden, how are you? Do you step into anger and want to fight? Or do you step back and retire? Thank you for the hearts. Ah, uh, you're getting bullied and you tell teachers, do you know, the, the interesting thing about, well, let's have a look first at um, this survival strategy. Now, some I am a leadership trainer, so I've been training uh, people from uh, business organizations and in my own private seminars for, gee, nearly three decades now. I started as an army reservist. I um, uh, uh, helped people lead their own lives to take control and not let others take over their life much like you don't let trolls take over your scope yay <laughs> i think i need some hearts for that okay so don't be mean tap tap the screen hello turkey how are you thank you very much mr jelly jason very true okay so talking about the survival strategy so are there people that say really mean things? There are actually two types of trolls and the, uh, the really bad trolls are the ones that have something really twisted inside, probably because they've had such a tough life and their survival strategy uh, hasn't worked well for them. So what is this survival strategy stuff? Oh, thank you so much, Clark. I'm definitely an elder. So having a look at our survival strategy, psychologists tell us that by the time we're three years old, our survival strategy is in place. Now, this makes sense, guys. If you think about it, our DNA has not changed much in the last, let's say, 10,000 years, right? Hello from Russia. Hello, Clark. Oh, a good age, 54. And but has our environment changed? Absolutely. So let's have a look at 10,000 years ago as a cave baby. If you didn't have your survival strategy in place by then, you did not get to be a cave toddler. You certainly didn't get to grow up and be a teenager, right? Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Here's the hearts back. Yay. Thank you. So basically, um, your survival strategy is in place. Now, I'm, I can't address that just yet, Mr. Jelly Jason. There is a way, but I certainly can't uh, talk about that on the scope. If you want to tap uh, on my profile, there is a, uh, a link. Tap on that. And, and we'll be able to get in, in contact then and I can talk to you about that. But basically, this scope is about you understanding that you have a survival strategy. There we go. And the really good thing, of course, about Periscope is you can block those nasty trolls, can't you? <laughs> I love it. Okay, back to the survival strategy. I refuse to be deflected from my mission today. So, <laughs> thank you. So here's the thing. Eggs, notice what you do when you feel threatened. Yeah? So uh, that could be just someone raises their voice to you and you don't like that. Notice how you respond. Do you step into anger or do you step back thank you very much or do you step back uh, into being withdrawn you're still angry but you do not show it often you find other ways why would you need to know what your survival strategy is because you need to know uh, about uh, so the results that you're getting in your life 
Are you happy with the results that you're getting in your life? The big reason why you may not be happy about those results is your part in creating them. And your part in creating them is how you respond to what happens exactly. Thank you very much. One, one eight blacker results show your level of awareness. But I don't mean that in a superior way at all. Because we're, we're all on this planet uh, living our own lives and on our own mission. So... I'm not sure what your mission is, but I do know what my mission is, is to share. Thank you very much for those hearts, is to share another way to look at your life and to realize that you are responsible for the results in your life. You have the responsibility and you have the ability to respond. Do not give that power away. And one of the many steps, thank you. And one of the many steps in doing that is for you noticing how do you respond whenever you feel threatened? And does the way you respond work for you? Because here's the deal. If someone does something or says something and you interpret that as threatening, and respond in a way. Now let's say you respond in an angry way and you get the angry look on the face or you shout or your body language or you move and you're very angry. You can cross your fingers and hope for the best, but you can do more than that. You see, you have the choice to understand how I'm going to respond. And if crossing your fingers and hope for the best works for you, Bravo, because you have to do what works for you and what might work for you certainly may not work for others. So notice how do you respond when something happens. Now, remember I said we're not talking about war zones. We're not talking about earthquakes or any natural disasters or any actual situation you're in that is dire. I am talking about your everyday life and how you are on your everyday life. How do you respond when you feel threatened? You need to understand your survival strategy because it's been in place since you've been three years old. So it might need to be changed. The things that you believed as a three-year-old probably aren't valid anymore. So take back control of your life. Notice how you respond and with baby steps, thank you for the hearts. Oh, I've got a real heart here. Yeah, thank you for the hearts. And with baby steps, decide that you don't like the result of how you respond. And it causes others to be fearful and to be angry back at you. Because haven't you noticed that when someone is angry at you, that you automatically feel the anger rise within yourself and then here here we go we have this sparking off this flame so there you are guys that's my scope for the day it is about your survival strategy it's been in place since you've been three years old does it still serve you i almost promise you that it doesn't so you have a fabulous day. I'm off out into this wonderful Melbourne autumn day. The sun is out. Uh, life is good. So goodbye. Thank you for being part of our. Oh, thank you so much. And it is but a reflection. You cannot see that, which you are not. So you are beautiful inside and out as well. So all, to all my beautiful inside and out scopers, thank you for sharing part of your precious time with me today. It's time to get out there and get into my world and wishing you well in your world. Thank you for the hearts. Very sweet. Thank you.